This is ABC 7 News. We know that like any other major city, we have our challenges. It's not just because of the challenges of what happens in San Francisco that the downtown San Francisco area struggled. We need to reverse direction from where we are now and we need to get back on track. A $6 million investment to help with San Francisco's struggling Union Square. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Larry Beal. And I'm Kristen Z. The Union Square area has faced a number of challenges recently, including high-profile and high-end thefts at stores like Neiman Marcus and Louis Vuitton, car break-ins in parking garages around Union Square, and a number of store closures. Most recently, Nordstrom announced plans to close. And now city leaders hope a new proposal to reinvigorate a street that's seen a lot of store closures will help get this area back on track. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland live in the newsroom now with a look at the plan and what it could mean for that area. Lena? Larry, with so many empty storefronts in this particular area of Powell Street, Mayor Breed wants to reimagine how we use those spaces and also make it easier to start a business in this quarter. And she says part of why they're making this investment is to change the narrative about the city of San Francisco. Just as the historic cable cars have to get on a turntable to turn around and change directions at the foot of Powell Street, city leaders want to take this area filled with empty spaces in a new direction. We need to reverse direction from where we are now and we need to get back on track to recover downtown and to be to be the great city that we know that we are. Mayor London Breed announcing the city and county of San Francisco is making a new investment of $6 million into the Powell Street corridor stretching from Geary to Market. That will be street improvements to change the conditions to make the streets, the sidewalks wider, the streets more inviting, easier to get on the cable cars. And the other thing it will do is provide support for those who want to start businesses along that area. Meaning resources around tenant improvements and cutting through the red tape in order to start a business in this area. And Breed says this also means reimagining the use of vacant spaces that line Powell Street. Our goal is to provide you the resource in order to do the build out necessary to get business going in this corridor. SFMTA partnering with Mayor Breed in this investment, which they say is critical to downtown's economic recovery in order to continue to attract people from across the world. So this investment we're making is going to improve the street streetscape and design, create a welcoming connection between a very critical transit hub at Powell Street, Muni and BART welcoming people into this iconic Union Square neighborhood. Acknowledging public safety concerns in this area, Police Chief Bill Scott says the city's biggest crime category is theft, which he says is down by 8% this year. Still, he's asking for the community's support in improving this area as a whole. But support us. That's all we ask. And it will get better because it's getting better. And Breed says the plan to revitalize this area is also changing perceptions of the city. San Francisco is not the doom loom that everyone says it is. And there is no doubt in my mind that with the investments and the work we're going to do together, that we'll emerge stronger than we ever have before. And Mayor Breed also mentioned that while the city has a 27% vacancy rate for office space right now, she listed a number of businesses that have re-signed their leases like Levi's and many that have future plans to move to the area like Ikea. In San Francisco, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News. Lena, thank you.